Hello everyone, my name is jcoat93 and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create uh, Minecraft schematic files. Uh, this is for the Minecraft schematic reddit page and basically I do this by using mcedit which I will link you all to in the description of this video so, or this page even. So you can just download that and I'm just going to boot up here and it may have the latest version, it may not but it's a pretty easy install and it's also easy to update so once this is booted up we'll see a check for updates thing and you can click that and then it will automatically check for updates and normally it will tell you up here up in the top corners uh, if there's an update available so I'm going to press F3 to start up screenshots and this is what I normally make uh, my schematics in. So, oops. As you can see, here's a pretty basic version of Minecraft. It boots up your world by finding your level.dat file in your save world. So that's why I'm at the moment in the actual world. And here's some bricks. And as you can see, uh, that's all iron or steel, iron blocks. I just made a big hole in the ground, basically. So, what we have here is a single dock from my dock thing. If you look, uh, the glowstone is just the floor, uh, some redstone on it. The redstone doesn't have any particular direction, it's just redstone. That is a repeater. That is a sticky piston. I'm guessing that's extended sticky piston bit. And there is... Uh, wood, there's some water, and that little pink thing is a lever. So you have a pretty basic idea of what this is, but as you can see this little uh, dot, no block thing in the middle is the selector. So you can make things in MC Edit, but it's very difficult with the trapdoor there. Uh, so if I wanted to create this as a file, what I would do was get this little blue box where I want it to be. So there's two modes of selecting. There's this one where it sort of clicks itself to the closest box where your arrow is pointing. Or you can either click or hold down the right mouse button and then it'll sort of like do it in a certain amount of distance in front of you. You can scroll with the scroll wheel and it'll come closer or further away from where you are. So I'm just going to use that to click there and go all the way over here and click here. Now that's a pretty basic selection um, and it's not very accurate so what we're going to do I'm going to right click again just to get off that selected thing so I'm on the other select mode and we can use these nudge selection things to move so I'm just holding down on that and then pressing A to bring it closer. Now, as you can see there, the selection has gone out too small now. So I'm going to do that again. And then I can also change the height instead of direction. So if I press Z, I can take it down. And I can do the exact same thing with the yellow block. And you can see there's a yellow there and there's a blue up there. So just going to make sure this is all selected. And as you can see, the blue one needs to go off a bit because the lever isn't selected. I'm going to bring this towards that. I'm going to bring that towards that. I'm going to bring that up so the floors... Oops. Floors fully selected. There. Now we've made a selection using uh, this little select tool here, I forgot to mention that. Now to make a schematic file, we have to click copy, and then it'll save what's in there. And then we can click save up here, and this will save an actual schematic file. Now as default it takes you to your username, or computer name, whatever it is, my documents there, and Minecraft schematics. So we're just going to name this single doc dot schematics 
save that. And then you can just simply that upload that somewhere. But to import it into your world, if you want to do this, you find this little import thing. It looks like a crane and some planks and some wood. And then you've got a list of schematics, or if you go on to download, it can be there. But this is it. Uh, as you can see, single docs has been saved, so if you just double click that, we'll have a selection of 4 by 10 by 7. And we just place that down and then press enter once we're happy with where it is. We've got another single doc right there now. And if you want to edit this into a world, all we have to do now is press Ctrl S or save. And I'll save it. And that's how you create a schematic file. Now, I'm not sure what we're going to actually do with this subreddit. I think the schematic files are going to be quite important to it, but also I think that we should actually design and show drawings of layer by layer because as I just showed you the most basic component of thing you have a nice little files let you do that but if you look at the schematic file for oh, the enchantment room with the books I have no idea what the whetstone wiring for that is at all and it's super complex. So if I break that down one day, or someone else does, and then post a schematic file, as in like a drawing, that could be super useful. Uh, I'm just trying to get Minecraft running now. Okay, I've just opened up uh, screenshots. Uh, world. It's in creative mode, so I can just fly around in it. But am I falling? No. There you go. There's the file we just copied. Or the old building, as you can see. Oops. It's fine. That all works, and then it all clearly doesn't work because it breaks itself when it's not contained properly. Because the water will just rush away. But here's what we pasted in. And if you just fill around with schematics, it's not hard to figure out how to use. You can just fill around with it and do some stuff. But here's the original file. If I wanted to, I could delete this entire sort of three block selection when I was making ah this entire block selection, and then copy and paste everything else and make a thingy. But yeah, so that's how you create schematic files, not actual schematic like blueprints. Or jcork93 out.